Hello everybody, today I'm going to be replacing the oil pump orange uh, because this truck is having a oil pressure uh, issue then every time the engine is idling at hot temperature the oil drops to nearly zero so we need to uh, replace the oil pump orange okay, now I'm going to drain the oil and then I wanna leave the vehicle so I can remove the oil pan okay the vehicle is up Okay, to remove the oil pan, the first thing we need to do is to remove the oil this uh, hose right there by loosening that clamp and loosening that uh, nut that is holding the uh, dipstick hose on the oil pan. Okay, the oil dipstick uh, nut and hose are out, so now we can proceed to remove all these bolts, the ones that are holding the oil pan in place. Uh, we're gonna use a 13 millimeter uh, socket for all of them and uh, then we're gonna draw the oil pan remember to remove this cross member right here to remove the oil pan otherwise the pan the oil pan won't be able to come out the oil pan is out as you can see here don't be scared if you find plastic pieces around here because that's normal uh, those pieces are from the injector harnesses and from the other plastic pieces inside the engine. Okay, here is the inside of the engine, the bottom of the engine, when the crankshaft is. Uh, the reason why the oil pressure is dropping is because this. As you can see these tubes right here. Are, this one is tight, a little bit tight. But still it's loose. This one is completely loose. This is where the oil pressure is dropping because the oil rings are not sealing no more. So we need to replace this orange, but we're gonna replace this oil manifold, the oil suction manifold right here, because as you can see here, it's leaking from here, so that's not good. So we need to put a new one to prevent any future uh, problems with it. Uh, now I wanna mention then Detroit, Detroit Diesel recommends to always check your main bearings. These are your main bearings. To remove the caps and inspect the main bearings when the oil pressure uh, issue happens uh, to prevent any problems with the crankshaft. Uh, in this case, for example, uh, this truck it just start with that problem with the oil uh, oil pressure dropping just today. Uh, but if your truck is having that issue for too long and you haven't replaced uh, repair it. Uh, be sure to inspect the main bearing because you can have damage then uh, because the oil pressure is dropping so much. Now to remove the oil suction module or the manifold right here, we need to release these bolts right here. There is one, two, and another two right here, another two right there. So we need to remove those and then we are going to drop the uh, pipes out. Okay, the oil manifold is right here, it's out as you can see. And this is the new one. It's completely different than the old one. So it comes with the O-ring right here and with the bolts. You cannot remove them. They're, they're secure. So uh, uh, don't be alarmed if you, if you see this uh, old manifold because this one is completely different than this one. So it's the same one, just the new version. This is all plastic now. I have all the pieces that we need to do the job. We, I have the oil pan gasket and the O-rings for the tubes, the oil pump tubes. To remove the O-rings right here, all you have to do is to uh, place a screwdriver and pray it so you can break the seals and then place the new ones. It's very easy. Okay, the new O-rings are on place. I have the old O-rings here, as you can see, are completely dry. They're completely bad, so this is the reason why the oil pressure is dropping. Uh, so we're gonna place the tubes right now and then we're gonna place the oil manifold. Okay, uh, the oil manifold bolts are completely tight and secure. Uh, don't inspect around the manifold, everything is alright. Uh, the seals, the oil pile seals are completely secure. Now they're not moving, as you can see, they're very tight now. So they're in a good condition. Uh, now we're just gonna clean this area where the uh, seal sits, the oil pan seal, gasket seal uh, sits. We're gonna clean a little bit and we're gonna replace the oil pan gasket. 
Okay, the oil pan gasket is on place. Uh, the next thing to do is to apply some silicone in these areas, in the four corners, right there. Uh, and we going to start. Okay, the oil pan is on place, as you can see. All the bolts are tight and secure. Uh, now, we just gonna put everything back together. Uh, and then we're gonna add the oil. Okay, uh, remember to replace the oil filter uh, after adding the new oil. And very important to pre-fill the oil system after doing this job. Uh, you can do pre-filling the system over here with a special tool to fill all the uh, oil passages uh, to prevent any premature damage to the engine. Okay, uh, everything is on place now, the bumper, the oil is new, the new oil filter and the oil system is already filled with new oil too. So now it's time to start the engine. Okay, we can see the oil pressure going up, that's good. That's a really good oil pressure. So now we have to let the engine run to the maximum temperature. Okay, the engine temperature is high now, so the, uh, the fan is about to get activated. But now we can see the oil pressure right here. It is good. So the oil pressure is fine, so that means this job is finished. All I need to do now is to turn off the engine and check the oil level and check for leaks. So this is all I'm going to show you about the oil, uh, uh, the oil pump orange replacement. If you have any questions, you can uh, comment below and I try to answer as soon as I can. Uh, please like the video and share it and subscribe. And thank you for watching.